My name is Eric Howard, and I've been involved with the Embracing Life Ministries at the Vineyard in Anaheim for the last seven years. And for the last four years, I've been part of the leadership team. One of the biggest lessons that has changed my life was the lesson on the true self and the false self, which talks about all our beliefs growing up, how we see ourselves, opposed to how God sees us. And part of that lesson is a le uses four pictures from the cleaning of the Sistine Chapel. The first picture is really dark, you can hardly see any of the picture. And then it shows a couple of in-between steps as it gets brighter and brighter, up until the final one is a very bright, vibrant picture. Now the first couple times I went through this teaching, my belief, how I saw the lesson was that the false self and the um, true self were two different realities. And we had to work to change ourselves from the false self to the true self. This wonderful man, Victor, part of the class one year, just made this statement that just totally turned my mind around. He said, we already are the picture. The picture's already there. What we need to do is clean our lenses to be able to see the picture. What we have to do is not become how God sees us. We're already there, but we need to get rid of all the lies that are contradictory to what we are. And all these scriptures that I've heard and read for years suddenly jumped out at me that they all say, you are a child of God, you are holy. They all say you are, not you have to become. And so now I'm looking at things differently that I'm already where God wants me. I just need to get rid of all these parts that, are contra that I'm believing is truth that are contradictory to what God says. Embracing life has changed me to where I now am much more comfortable with myself, no matter what's going on with me physically. Um, I'm, no, I'm understanding, seeing myself more as God sees me, and that, that brings a better understanding to the scripture of love your neighbor as yourself, because as I'm more accepting of myself and all my flaws, it makes it easier to embrace and accept others around me and all their flaws, and understanding <clears throat> who they are and who I am, and that we're all children of God working to see our true selves. I would say come to Embracing Life, because it even, it was started with, because of people with AIDS, moved to people with other life-altering conditions, but as I found out, life is a life-altering condition. All of us have problems, all of us have needs, and embracing life shows us how to have the full life that God promises in the midst of all the daily problems. I encourage anybody to come down and um, participate in our various aspects of the Embracing Life Ministries and just see what we're about and just come and have God change you.